All right, so I need you guys to make a few changes and do some editing on your slides before you submit it to be graded as a project, which is a test score in the gradebook. So when you open your slideshow and you're looking at this vertical view of all of your sides, if you see a little comment bubble over here to the left, that means that something is wrong with that slide and it needs to be fixed. Um, you will only earn credit for that slide if it's done correctly. So if there's a speech bubble next to it, know that if I were grading this as a test right now, you would not get credit for that slide. It has to be done correctly in order to earn the test points, okay? So you can see that this person, there's an issue on the first slide. Their second slide is fine because you don't see that little speech bubble. The third and the fourth slides have something that needs to be fixed. The fifth slide is fine and so on, okay? I'll show you another example over here. This person has something to fix on slides one, two, three, and four, okay? Slide five is mostly okay, but now that I'm looking at it, um, this kind of stuff you need to take out of here, okay? You would not just leave the directions sitting on the slide. The only thing that should be on the slide is your dot plot, okay? So you need to go back through, get rid of that, okay? I also noticed a lot of people not capitalizing things that need to be capitalized. So remember in a title on your first slide, you need to capitalize each word in a title. Um, and you also need to capitalize your first and last name. So make sure that you go through and make those types of changes and make sure that your slideshow is project worthy and ready to be turned in before um, the due date. Okay, um, if you have any questions, what I would suggest doing first is watching the videos that I created for every step of the project. I can tell that a lot of you did not watch those videos prior to doing your slides because they were done incorrectly and had you watched the videos, you would have had no trouble doing them. And um, if after you watch that video, you're still not sure, I would encourage you to go back and to read your notes and to watch the notes videos that explain how to do these types of data displays. If you've done all of that and you still need some help, please reach out to me. But you need to use your resources first before doing your work incorrectly. Um, and after you've looked at those videos, please ask me for help if you still need it.